Plex Editor for Windows is a standalone movie metadata editor and manager program for the Plex Media Server database. With Plex Editor, you can quickly and efficiently edit and organize your Plex movie database. While the built in browser based Plex Media Manager is great, there are many areas where Plex Editor can quickly and easily help you manage the data in your Plex database. Let's do a quick tour of the Plex Editor editor screen. As you can see, it is divided into three main resizable column areas left, center, and right. The left column contains a scrollable record set of your movie titles in a data grid which can be sorted by title, movie year, date added, or content rating. You can navigate your record set by using the cursor keys and navigator control or by mouse. You can select multiple records for batch processing using the standard keyboard mouse command, shift click, control click, or the control A keyboard command. When selecting multiple records, the data for the last record clicked will display in the editor. Data fields that do not allow multi-selection editing will be disabled. Right click in this control to display the context menu for this control. The center column controls from top to bottom are the filters control, the movie text fields control, the Genre and Collection Tags Read-Only Display Area, the Collection Tags Control, and the Global Search and Replace Control. Right-click in the Collection Tags Control to display the context menu for the Collection Tags Control. The right column contains the Genre Tag Control. Right-click in the Genre Tags Control to display the context menu for the Genre Tags Control. Here we have a new Plex database which has not had any editing or modifications made to it. As you add movies to your Plex database, the Plex Metadata Media Agents do a great job filling in a movie's data fields automatically. But when you get data from multiple sources, sometimes you end up with multiple synonymous or unwanted movie classifications as shown here in the Genre Tag column. As you can see, there are 52 separate genre tags that have been created by the various Plex metadata agents. For action films, we have tags for action, action and adventure, action adventure, and adventure. If we pull up the stats form, we can see by the breakdown of numbers at each tag, including the fact that there are 14 tags that aren't even assigned to a movie. Additionally, if we filter the record set to show the movies classified with the art house and international genre, we see that we have one movie, The Edge of the Garden, which if you look, you will see it doesn't show that the art house and international genre tag is assigned to it. Something is wrong in the database. Let's do a little database cleaning and repairing by rebuilding the genre tag fields for all the movies in the database by clicking the Rebuild Genre button located in the Genre and Collection Tags read-only box. Now looking at Edge of the Garden, we can see that the Art House and International Genre tag now shows being assigned to the movie. Let's do a little more cleanup by getting rid of those 14 unused genre tags by right clicking in the Genre Tag checkbox column to pull up the context menu and selecting Delete Unused Genre Tags. If we pull up the stats form again, we can see that there are now no unassigned genre tags.
Now let's do a little editing. Let's start by creating a new collection tag called Music Videos. Right click in the Collection Tags box and select Add New Collection Tag from the Context menu then type Music Videos into the entry form and hit Enter or click Save. Note that I did not capitalize Music Videos. I did that to show you the next example. Right click the Music Videos tag in the Collections tag box and select Edit Collection Tag. We can edit the tag or in this case just click the Title Case button and then Save. After editing a tag we are asked if we want to rebuild all collection tag fields. We are asked this because if a tag is changed then any records that are assigned that tag needs to have the tags genre or tags collection database field updated to reflect the changed tag. If we were going to change more tags, we would wait to rebuild the tags once we were done. The tags can be rebuilt at any time as we did earlier with the Rebuild Genre button. In this case, we don't need to rebuild the tags because we just created the tag and haven't assigned it to any movies yet. Now let's assign the collection tag music videos to a music video. First select Adele Rolling in the Deep, then just click the Collection Tag Music Videos checkbox. If we wanted to remove a tag from a selection, we'd just uncheck its checkbox. Let's assign the Collection Tag Music Videos to several records at the same time by selecting a Dale Rumor Has It and Amber Carrington Stay, then checking the Music Videos checkbox. If we select any of the three videos we've assigned the Music Videos Collection Tag to, we can see they are all assigned the tag. Now we'll throw in a twist. Select the following videos by clicking on Alexis Morso Go Your Own Way, then control click Adele Rumor Has It. Notice the Music Videos tag is already checked. That is because when selecting multiple records, the last record checked has focus. What would happen if we uncheck the Music Videos checkbox? All selected records would have the Music Videos collection tag removed. If we wanted to assign the tag instead of removing it, we could reselect the records then and assign the tag, but there is an easier way. Leaving our two selected records, select Control Click once on Alexis Morso Go Your Own Way, then Control Click it again to reselect it. Now the last record selected has a focus, and since that record doesn't have the music video's collection tag assigned to it yet, the tag box is unchecked. If we check the Music Videos tag box, all the currently selected records will be assigned the tag. Select one of our Music Videos. Let's assign a content rating of MV for Music Video to it by clicking the down arrow on the Content Rating drop-down box. There isn't an MV value listed yet, so type it into the drop-down box, then tab or move the mouse off the Content Rating drop box to save the changes. If we want to assign a content rating of MV to all our music videos, we could select each record one at a time and assign the rating to each one, or we could do it like this. Right click the Music Videos Collection Tag, select Filter Record Set by Collection Tag, move the cursor over the Record Set column and Control A to select all records. Click the Content Rating drop down arrow, then the MV Content Rating in the drop down list. They're all done. Click the Clear button in Filters to display all records again. See the Art House and International tag listed in the right column Genre Tags? I don't want it and I also don't care if any records are assigned that tag or not. Right click that tag to pull up the Genre Tags context menu and then select Delete Genre Tag and then Yes to confirm box. I don't want several action, action and adventure and adventure genre tags. I want them all to be action and adventure. In the global search and replace control, click the left genre drop down box and select action. Then click the right genre drop down box and select action and adventure. Then click the green check mark button to execute the command. Repeat steps to replace adventure with action and adventure. The global search and replace control does not remove the tags from the database. If you want to remove the tag itself after replacing it, you can run the delete genre tag like we did earlier, or the delete unused tags to remove all unused tags.
I'm going to change a movie title now by adding underscores and change, changing the capitalization of the title for the next example. Okay, now click the title case button located on the left of the title box. From the main menu you can you can click on the Google search button or from most of the context menus or by double clicking the item itself in the record grid to initiate a Google title search on that movie. Likewise, you can select a movie to play. Or locate the movie on disk by clicking the Locate Movie button. For our last example, I'm going to pull up an Oracle VM box where I have Plex Editor installed. And if we go to the installation directory for Plex Editor in the files directory, there's two included batch files, on start bat and on close bat. These two batch files can be, Plex Editor can be configured to run one or both of them on the start of Plex Editor and at the close of Plex Editor. These can be useful for several different things. Uh, for instance, the sample batch file includes sample commands to uh, stop the Plex Media Server, to copy the Plex Media Server database to the working directory for Plex Editor to use, and then when Plex Editor is closed, it'll copy the working uh, change file database back to the Plex database location and restart the Plex Media Server. So in this example, first we'll start Plex and go to the user batch files option and turn them both on. Now that they're on, I'll start the Plex Media Server. So the Plex Media Server is running now, and we'll start Plex Editor again, and it'll give us the option to, to either run the batch file or not. And since I've got UAC turned on, then you have to click Yes. And I have a pause command in there just so you can see that it did copy the file and that it did uh, terminate the Plex Media Server processes. If I mouse over here, then that icon will be gone. And when we kill Plex Editor now, it will ask us if we want to run the unclosed batch file. And if we tell it yes, it will copy the file back to Plex Media Server. And it started our Plex Media Server back up on as we exited Plex Editor. So that's pretty much it for this video. 